a knife. When I think of violence, I do think of a knife most of the time. Or guns. Or a Molotov cocktail. And mostly I also think of pain. But as much as we know that pain, blood and wounds are only the results of violence, we can also state that knives, guns and Molotov cocktails are only the tools of violence. So what exactly is the essence of violence? I do of course not have a ready-made answer here, so maybe we start cooking something really, really hot. A chili. For this we cut the classic garlic and onions, put them in oil, fry them, stir, and meanwhile we open the cans and rinse the beans, except for one can. After garlic and onion have been frying for quite a while, we add some cashews and fry them along. They will add a really nice texture to your chili. And now we can let the can party begin. I have added three different types of canned beans. I have garbanzo beans and this little red beans and some other funny beans, which I thought would be nice. And then I added three cans of chopped tomato and, you know, a bit of water. I stirred it all through and then I added the spices, which in my case were tons of hot paprika and also tons of sweet paprika. Stir it again and now let it cook or simmer or just bubble along for at least an hour. The longer, the better. Violence is something that always comes into play when all other means of communication seem to have failed. And the moment you use violence or use its tools is the moment when you don't listen to the other person anymore. This can be because you think they're stupid, but this can also be because you're in the higher position and you don't have to listen to the other person. You can just hit them over the head and that's that. There will be no sanctions for it. This kind of violence is of course always related to power structures and it is also the most common one. Let's say I make the rules. Or let's say there are rules that were made some hundred years ago and you still have to live by these rules now. And every day new rules are added. And these rules count for everyone. Okay, so even for me who has made the rules, I can maybe change the rules, but they also count for me. So what is the special thing about these rules is that they say that they are objective, that they are free of prejudice because they count for everyone in the same way. And this is exactly their problem. The rules do not adjust to the situation. The rules do not change if I can argument that this is a stupid rule. The rules do not take in account the human subjectivity at all. The rules turn humans into objects and if they do not follow these rules, there are sanctions, there is violence. To me this has been quite an enlightening thought concerning the state or the role of the police, as the police is just a tool for the violence of the state in a way. They are just seeing that the rules, which are the essence of violence, are being followed. Also, the rules themselves are the violence, because as long as these exist, there is no reason to listen to you or to look at your subjectivity or your situation, because you can always be overruled. While the chili was cooking, I cut some fresh bell peppers and some fresh tomatoes in the end to give it this extra fresh and enriching flavor. And then we cooked it again. And then in the end, we noticed that something was missing. So we tested around and we found out that it was the sweetness. So what we did is we put in some agave and this really rounded up the flavor of this beautiful chili. 
no chill, only chili.